Hi, I'm Bob Powell, a Senior Applications Engineer and Corporate Trainer at Crestron Electronics. Crestron is the world leader in automation systems and in digital transport of video and audio signals. The course that the students take here are one that uh, we created especially for them. It exposes them to all of the different environments that Crestron has for the programming of our systems. We start out with System Builder, which is a software that allows you to build audio and video systems rather quickly, does a lot of the building of the systems for you, and we teach them how to tweak some of those and do some custom stuff in there. We then move on to um, our lighting software and show them how to control uh, light from the processors as well. We show them how to have those two processes talk to each other, the lighting system and the AV system control one another. We give them some exposure to the simple Windows programming. I like to refer to it as the, um, the stick shift type programming. So we start out teaching them how to drive automatics with the System Builder and D3 Pro, and then we go into the stick shift programming um, with simple Windows and VT Pro. And then we cap off the whole week by exposing them to uh, Crestron Studio, which is our new software suite that we uh, released last year that will eventually take the place of the other softwares. So they're getting familiar with all the software that we currently have and getting a little bit of a, a taste as to what's coming in the future. They'll have the ability to be able to do some of the programming and this gives them the chance to figure out whether programming is something they would want to do. The partnership that we have with Sheffield to teach their students as part of the TechWorks program was so that when the students graduate they will have some exposure to Crestron equipment. It'll make them more valuable to the Crestron dealers coming straight out of school because they've already had some hands-on. So it's kind of a win-win for both. They get the experience with our gear and we get more people that are familiar with our equipment that are entering the marketplace. I started teaching when I was in the Air Force in the late 70s, early 80s. It's just something I've always enjoyed doing. And it, there, there's something about watching the face when somebody gets it. Especially if they're struggling at first and then all of a sudden you see that little light go on. It's just very, very rewarding to have that knowledge that, that you've got them over that hump or, or what have you.